Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we are doing another bottle bottom pour on this cake spinner. So this is a plastic uh, thing that I make that basically mimics the bottom of a water bottle, soda bottle, and it's really cool to pour through. You can get this on my website. And then I have a hexagon canvas here, which I have on top of a cake spinner, and it's just attached with some double-sided sticky tape. I also have a hair cap on here to protect the spinner. So I got suggestions on my last one, which check out the earlier videos if you haven't. I did one with purple, one with blue, and today we're gonna do black, white, and silver. Mostly black and white, but with a smidge of silver. And this was suggested to someone by someone on one of the videos. So I think it's gonna come out pretty darn cool. And I'm gonna go pretty light on the silver. It can kind of take over sometimes. And these are Mixed Media Girl Pouring Paints. You can get them also on my website. They're ready to pour. You do not need to add anything to them. They're just ready to use right out of the bottle. Now for this canvas, I only need about six ounces of color. So I'm just layering these in here just a little bit at a time. And I'm gonna go probably a little bit heavier on the white because the black can also take over. Okay, there we go. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottle bottom right in the middle. You don't have to do it in the middle, you can do it off center. And then I'm going to just slowly pour in the middle of the bottle bottom here. This is very relaxing to do and to watch. Now, if you buy my bottle bottom set, uh, it comes in a set of three, and this is the medium one. And so it's two inches, three inches, and four inches. So this is the three inch one. And it's my personal favorite. You of course use whichever one you, you like. And now you can kind of already see here, but that silver kind of already took over a little bit. But luckily I put white in first, so whatever you put into your cup first is what's gonna come out last. And I like to just kind of let this drain for just about a minute so it can finish falling down off of the bottle bottom. Then we'll lift it up and do our spinning. All right, here we go. Now one of my favorite things to do with this technique, you can of course leave it like this, but I like to take a stick and I like to wreck these and just pull it through. I think it makes this such a gorgeous design. It's all just personal preference. There we go. And I like to let that center fill in as well. Now this cake spinner is very powerful. So I will probably only need to spin it once. You do not need to spin it hard or that paint will go flying. So be kind of gentle. Do it more than once if you need to. And it doesn't matter which direction you spin it in. That is so cool. So I could have actually gotten even a little more gentle on this. Um, I just did one, one turn and not very hard, but look how much it just went whoosh. So that is, this is my favorite cake spinner to date. It's so simple to use. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. All right, so you can see a lot of that silver took over. I think if I were to do this again, I would use even less of it and even more of the white, but I'm definitely happy that I started out with white in my cup so that we had these beautiful black and white lines in the end. I'm very, very happy with this. And see all these little delicate lines? You're not gonna really get that look without a bottle bottom or at least something similar. So there you guys go. 
Um, let me know in the comments what colors you would like to see next. I will choose one probably every week or two because this is so much fun. And I'll see you guys all next time.